morning to you ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye, welcome to a game called The Final Station. It's a 2D pixelated kind of game based around zombies, but it's, it has a really cool premise because it's like those games like Sheltered and This War of Mine, where you have a band of survivors and you have to manage their food and their water and supplies and all these different types of things, but you have to do it on a train. So I think the train goes to different destinations, and then you do stuff at those destinations, then the train goes on, and that's where all your water and stuff is. I don't know, I don't really know how it works, but I'm curious. It looks really cool, and I really like the, the style of it, and the logo itself, like the final station with the skull train coming down, just looks really cool. Okay. Pistol ammo. Oh, it's nice to have some pistol ammo. I like this as well. Because I've, I've played some games like this before, like, um... Was it Gunpoint I played? Um... God, I- Oh! Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay! <laughs> Apocalypse is scary! You okay? Oh, you're dead, aren't you? Pistol ammo and cigarettes. When did I get pistol ammo time four, but- Ah, fucking hell! The gun sounds are awesome! Why was the pistol ammo like times four, but my... Cigarettes were... Money. <laughs> Hi. Okay, I'm gonna go down here. Yeah, ah, uh, hey, excuse me, cult. Did you know there was a bunch of zombies running around? No. Okay. Am I? Am I not gonna talk to these people? I like the moon in the background. Okay. Carry on with your weird. Creepy fucking ritual. The hell was that? Oh, this just all leads around to itself. Oh, cool. Okay, that looks awesome. But I don't want to go out. So I don't want to go outside yet. I want to. There's another door down here, but I want to explore everything first. Ah! Holy fuck! I'm dead already. 106th year since the first visitation. Oh, was that supposed to happen? It was a dream. I think. No wonder I couldn't talk to those people. Oh man, now I don't have my bangy do. Oh my god. Oh shucks. Okay. Moving on. I got my soap. I got my coins. And I did a poop. It's time to head out for the day. <laughs> okay, I like his little run. I'm adorable. Cool, I got some food. All citizens aged 16 and over must attend the annual second visitation drill at the local response center. Next drill is scheduled for Friday. Administration of Armand White. The second visitation? What the hell are we talking about? It's very atmospheric! What does that say? Kaupa. Hello! Hello! <laughs> You're early today! Martin's not here! He disappeared somewhere. I'm doing his work today. Okay, what happened to Martin? I didn't even meet him and I miss him already. Okay. Hello? Oh, he's a little sleepers. I got whiskey and cigarettes! I, <laughs> technically I just stole them from those guys. What is going on? Who am I and why am I just trundling about the area like nothing's going on? Wanted! To build, guardian, engineers, mechanics and builders are wanted. So... I'm a guardian, I'm guessing, because it's highlighted. Required experience, 10 plus years. Accommodation in the lower sector of Metropole. Meals, double pension are provided. Ad does not apply to settlers' families. Right then. Fair enough. Screws, rags. Why are some things different colors? Ah, there we go! Oh, hello! I think I accidentally closed the door. I didn't peek. 
Okay. Are you sure this is a good idea? He's not the best train operator. What if something goes wrong? Calm down. I'll keep an eye on him. James, this is a very important train, I know. Are you guys talking about me? I'm a Greek train conductor. Look at me go! I got my little swagger on. Oh, hello. Vacation is over? I guess so. I didn't even know we had vacation. I don't know what's going on. I don't even know my name. Maybe I don't get a name. It's kind of spooky, though. Upper House of Metropole. To Paul Anderson, head of Bertfurt. <laughs> Bertfurt Station. Confirmation of blockers code 8725. Sh should I be writing this down? 8725. You never know what these things. Clothing. Okay. I'm glad I looked around at all these. Oh, it's written down here. Oh, never mind. Scribble that out. Um, assistant. I don't have an assistant. <laughs> Hello. While you were away, they installed the new blockers. Boss left the code in his office. Enter it into the panel next to the train. I will give you more details as we travel. Okay, weird apparition. It's so minimalistic, the sounds. Okay, let me just check this stuff. Nothing. Eight, seven, two, five. Dee dee. Did I do it? Yay! I get to command a whole train! All by myself! I don't actually get to like... I don't think I get to like choose if it moves forward or backwards or anything like that. But... I- I'm a conductor! Yeah, this is- this is what I'm talking about, so... All your stuff goes on in here. Like the med kits, the food, the water, that kind of stuff. Okay, batteries, 100 volts, using 92. Okay. I'm assuming that's the resources. Uh, reserve crafting system. No thanks, I'd rather just look at this. So you have a set period of time. Oh my god, that is lovely looking. That's super pretty. It's a very nice style to it. The pixelated 2D, like, indie games have come so far in the last couple of years. These are all offline operators. I want to craft these. Okay, I don't have the stuff to craft them anyway. Okay. No, put the, put the fucking, put it back. I don't need food. Vent system's good. This is an experimental model. They're a frequent- what? Irvin Jones! Assistant engineer. Reward, 250. His hunger's going down. Does that mean you need food? What is this? Deprecation system. What? You will need to set it up manually. Okay. If it overheats, we won't be able to move. Well, too late. We already arrived. I I have no idea what I'm doing right now. You're hungry. You want food? Here you go. Yay, I gave him food. Now he's not hungry anymore. Oh, yeah, the blockish. You remember the accident at Exler 5? It was horrible. Sure thing. The council couldn't let this slip. Now, in order to leave a station, you need to get an access code from the station manager. This is complicated. Okay, am I supposed to stop the train? We're here! Yay! I'm not sure I trust that dude. Oh, so I need the code to to leave each station, like the blockers, the 8725 I just got last time. Okie dokie. You are late. A wizard is never late. He, re he arrives precisely when he means to. There's no express train today. We'll have to take this wreck of a train. Oh, they're getting on to the train. They're not apparitions, they're not ghosts. Hello! Hi, Jackaboy, reporting for duty. Hello. How's your vacation? This is okay, I see. I don't have the blockers code, the boss has it. Okay, can I talk to him then? He went to lunch. You can wait here or look for him in the city. I'm sure he's close by. Okay, I'm gonna go back this way for a second because I don't know if there's anything else back here. 
Nope, can't go any further. Hello? Not now! Okay, jeez, I'm sorry. Can I go through your door? Yeah. I'm off today! The new cashier's off. I'll get rid of him and find a new one. <laughs> oh, I got glasses! Sweet! Wait! The drinking variety or the CE variety? There's a hatch here that I can't go under. This seems lovely! This seems like a great place! There are communication problems on the west coast. The area is next to the border. The false contact are unresponsive. We are waiting on the details. Wait, are we dealing with zombos or aliens? Get up at 6.40. Drink a quart of milk. Run five miles. Repeat every day. 100 squats, 100 push-ups every day, then a 10 kilometer run. You have to do it every day, even when your body feels like it wants to die. That's how you become the hero for fun. Yes? Why are you distracting me from my work, sir? I'm fucking sorry. You were highlighted, I thought you were interesting. I guess not. I'm ahead up here. Why? I'm just breaking into people's houses and reading all their emails and shit. Couldn't find an approach to Adam. <clears throat> he is just like his father. What do we do now? We need to find a detour. I know it is a big bulk, but if we can transfer it out of Bristol, we are set for life. Some of the wording of that was weird. Let me in! Morning, sir. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about the train. The key is here in the suitcase. I left a note with the code in the locker. But well, don't take anything besides the code. Yes, you are right. Sorry. D did I get the code? I don't know. Oh, I don't want to go to the stairs. Hey, friend. Help me. Need a couple more coins for the beer. Yeah, well, it's up to you. Be careful at night. Sometimes boxes accidentally fall on people's heads. You're not a nice man. You're not a nice person. Last time I went down into one of these, I died. What the hell? <laughs> what? I just stole wires out of that person's car. I'm the bad guy in this. I'm just going in everywhere and stealing shit and reading everyone's messages. Hello, Dr. Jekyll. I travel here from Morganstern to find out two screws were unscrewed. Cool. I like this whole idea that you don't really know what's behind the doors until you go behind them. That's a really cool um, mechanic. I've seen some other games do that as well. Upper House of Metropole to Richard Rogers. Okay, 8637. So this is what I'm assuming the entire premise of the game is. You get to a town, you, you get uh, like people for your train, then you move on, you go to the next town, you do the same. So it's going to get very hard after a while. 8637. Dee dee dee! We did it! Moving on! Woo woo! We're moving out, people! Everybody get in the pain train! Even though, aren't we just heading back? Oh no, we're heading forward! I don't know how that works. He went like this, and then forward. <laughs> Can't do that! Okay! Everything's going nice. Let's see who we got here. Lewis McGreen. Problem? Yes. What is your problem? Yes, I have a problem. We Yet yeah, we heard you. And you're adding more problems. I'm afraid I don't understand. Damn scheduled train. Where is it? I don't know. Sir, the scheduled train timetable hasn't changed in 20 years. Yes, I know, because I've been taking it for 20 years. <laughs> what is this? Those idiots on the at the station told me they can't reach the train driver. How could that happen? Wait, why is your health going down? Is it because we're in the dark? Oh god. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with these things. I think I just did a right thing. Oh, Peter White is online! Hi, welcome back. Thank you. Oh, cool. No planned route changes. However, there are communication problems in the south. I hope the team can fix this. Me too, Peter's offline. 
Emily is away, I guess. So do I, this is like a Five Nights at Freddy's thing. I have to manage the vent system. I have to get them all to keep level. Have you heard? Trevor is gone. Yay, I arrived. I don't have to listen to you bastards anymore. Okay, so I have to clean the pooper. I have to get some good... Oh, their health is going down because the ventilation was bad. Got it. Got it. And I'm assuming I can just leave and then... The stuff reset. Ooh, rain! Ooh, cozy! Oh, I love the sound of it! Because I listen to this shit, like, when I'm doing thumbnails and stuff. Everyone knows about Rainy Mood, right? How you can just go and listen to, like, rain in the background and thunder and wind and stuff. But if you go to a website called A Soft Murmur, M-U-R, M-U-R, I think, um, it, it has a bunch of stuff like that, and you can set the levels of it. Like, you can set how much rain, how much wind, thunder, fire, like, people talking in a coffee house, wind, waves, that kind of stuff. It's really cool, and I love it. I love just sitting here. Sometimes I just sit here with my eyes closed and listen to it, because it's really nice. Just sit and listen for a second. We're, we're all going to do something now for a second. We're going to break up the video for a tiny second, and just sit back. It, it, this works better with headphones, by the way. If you sit back with headphones on and just listen to the rain. It's so nice. It's so relaxing. I, I advise... If any of you are stressed, or if any of you ever... Just feel down, or you feel tense, or you feel anxious, or anything like that. I advise going to a website like that, like Rainy Mood or A Soft Murmur. And just listening to sounds like this. They're very good for your brain. Um, and just closing your eyes and being aware of your breathing. It's almost like meditation in a way. This place is empty. Oh no, hi. Hello! The code? Oh yeah, the code. Gimme! There was a manual somewhere how to print it out. G give me a couple of minutes. Take a walk around the town. Oh, okay. Train driver's uniform and cigarettes. Sweet! Do I have an inventory or anything? I need to leave. Michael has some troubles with the patrol. Amanda. Doesn't sound good. Oh, hey, fellas. You guys are geared up. Walk through the scanner. Faster. Am I- am I okay? Did I do it? I think I'm okay. Listen. They cancelled all the tickets to the south. But I need to go back home. It is important. I will pay. I have money. Thank you. Ah! A new traveler aboard our train. So, is it within my best interest to get all the travelers for the train? Or should I neglect some people? Depending on how much room and food and stuff I have. Still no details. Any word from the council? I think they already evacuated. Nonsense. So... <clears throat> is this whole visitation thing... Like, a zombie outbreak that happens yearly? Like a purge kind of thing, but with zombies? Because I, th I thought it was about zombies, and the main menu showed zombies. But what if it's like aliens coming yearly as a visitation, and they turn people into zombies? I'm curious, there's a... There's a deeper story going on here that I'm not really getting so far. How are we going to get there? What? No, we need to go north. Okay. Ah! Papers, please! Um, okay. How... Let, let's... Am I buying food? <clears throat> okay. I have $17 left after this. Yes, is this how I buy stuff? This is kind of confusing. Okay. I think I did it. Yeah, okay, I have three now. <clears throat> cool! I think I just bought some food. Hello, I repeat. Ticket office is closed. Yes, to all destinations. Fuck you then. Hello, birdie. That's cool as well. You go in, you go indoors, and the the sound of the rain kind of fades out, and then you go outdoors, and it kicks back in again. Ooh, see what is this? These look like they're in every district. Oh, it's getting back into the Simon Stolen Hog or 
I don't know how to pronounce his name, it's Swedish. I talked about him in my Abzu playthrough, he's one, he's like my favourite artist. And I bought some of his stuff on Redbubble, he does stuff like this. It's kind of like the blue mist in the background with the red lights coming through. Very like, dystopian futuristic buildings and creations and everything. He's really look him up, he's, he's really really good. Friend, can you ask the kitchen where is my meat? No, oh, your meat's right here, bitch! <laughs> good afternoon. Are you ready to order? No, we don't have that, sorry. Did I ask for pig testicles again? Did you order the damn triple cooked meat? I've been cooking it for an hour! Sorry bro, wait, can I go actually go back up and talk to him about that? That's interesting. No, that would be cool if I could. Music's very nice as well, very calming. I like this game, man. This is neato. I don't like it as much anymore. God, there's so many tidy holes. What are you doing down here? Is your head all bandaged and bleeding? Hush. Don't tell them about me. Something is happening here. Don't believe the military. Uh, hi. What is going on? I need to go back further this way. Come in, faster. What is happening in this fucking place? Don't move! Is that person dead? What are you doing here? You're a railroad worker that doesn't hold any authority. If I see you again, you'll be dead meat. Fuck, dude! Did he kill that person? Ooh, I get Half-Life 2 vibes from this. Half-Life 2 starts off with you, well, actually, Half-Life 1 starts off with you in the train station as well. Half-Life 2 has those kind of, the dudes, the Combine, and they're like, have the th things in their hands, they're like, move along, sir, and they're doing stuff to the citizens. Half-Life 2, also a fucking, a, a thing everybody should go play. No, I'm not going anywhere. Okay. You, yeah! S stick it to the man, dude! You stay there and mind your pigeons. Okay, there's nothing else going on in this place. I can go back. Seems to be one person that you can pick up per station. But where is the final station? Not so bad. Oh yeah, I need the code off you. Nine, six, four, six. Okay. Thanks, bro! See you later. It was nice talking to you. Nine, six, four, six. Yeah? Sweet! All aboard! Are we still going this way? Yeah! Cool! I wonder what my next station will hold! Oh yeah, I have a third guy on my train now. What's your name? Bill Fringer. Or Fringer. Why did they cancel all the- Oh, look at this in the background! Oh, you're hungry. Oh, you're very hungry, okay. I got you, bro. Oh god. And this was the central station. I haven't been reading what they're saying. Central station in Metropole. It doesn't count. Why is that? Only locals can use it. Use what? What are you talking about? Bullshit. I heard that exact thing. Oh. Are you guys using the shitter? No? Okay. So there's, an, uh, there's a tick on some of them. When things are good, like this. When things are nominal. I don't know about this though. So I think the voltage usage goes up when these start going out of whack. Like this is at 91. If it goes to 92, I bet the ventilation system is off. Yeah, plus two volts. So you have to balance out everything. Ah, oh, that's cool! We're in the fucking mountains, dude! Are those gunshots? What's happening? Whoa! Holy shit! If there was a second visitation, we would be the first to find out. Who else could they be shooting in the middle of the damn country? Oh, this is spooky! This is awesome! Someone's online. James Biddle. Are you in the north? 
Are you okay there? So so. We've had calmer days. They report some shootings. Any word from the council? James? James is offline. Oh, this is fucking cool! That was awesome! You just hear the explosions in the background! These are like really good headphones, you can hear like really deep, low rumbles. Ooh! Yeah, that was awesome! I wanna know what the second visitation is! Oh, I got my people to their destinations! So I got money for it! I completed an act! Awesome! Coolio! That reminded me a lot of- I do that a lot, don't I? Where I'm like, this reminds me of this thing, this reminds me of that thing, but it's the way I work, it's the way I, like, it's the same when I watch movies, I'm like, I know that character's voice. That character's voice is this person. Oh god. Um, but I, I always see things in other things and, re and like, just, I don't know, I, I see references to other things, not not straight references, like the developers pr probably don't mean that, it's just, I see things in other things, put it that way. Um, and that reminded me of the, the scene in the new Godzilla movie, or the newest Godzilla movie, the 2014 one, where they're on the train tracks, and they have to see if the track, if the track is still intact. And then they go down and th they're like, oh yeah, everything's fine, and then the Muto comes out of nowhere. And the sound design in that scene is some of the best sound design I have ever heard in any movie. And I, I'm not just saying that either. I, I love giant monsters and I love Godzilla and everything, and the movie itself was... Eh, it left a lot to be desired. There were some cool moments in it. Um, but that scene is just... That whole movie, the sound design in that movie is fucking top-notch. Whatever you think about the movie, from a sound engineer standpoint, that is amazing sound effects. It's like the Transformers movies. Not the best movies, but the sound design in them is amazing. But that Godzilla movie, that scene, it's just you hear... If you have really good surround sound or bass or something in your house, just when you hear like the crackles of the creature and the thumping, it like reverberates all around you. It's phenomenal. Oh my god, I gushed all over it in the cinema when I watched it. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode here. I like this game. I like it a lot. There's, there's some nice like... Little interesting story elements going on and in between. I like that the resource management goes on in the train. It's not like you come back and you have a whole night to prep for an attack that's going to happen the next day like this war of mine and Sheltered kind of did. Sheltered, I'm sorry I didn't go back to that. I probably should have, um, but I don't know. Some things propped up at the time and I didn't go back to it then. Maybe I'll go back to it eventually, but I like that you're getting story elements within that. Within the resource management section, you're you're handling all that, but characters are talking. You're getting character development, you're getting story that's going on in the background with all the explosions. Very, very well done. And the art style is very nice, very minimalistic sound design when it needs to be. Then other times the music kicks up. Very, very good. I'm very impressed. I, I can't wait to figure out what the hell is actually going on in this game and, and see more of it. But for now, thank you guys so much for being here and watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Like a bus and my face on road. Whoosh, whoosh. Thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes. I don't want to kill anybody this time. Let me just stay here on holiday and relax and drink some ginseng tea. Can I just sit here and wait my time? Is Death gonna come and be like, Howdy, beastie dude? Why is the green gas in my house? I like games like this as well because I can sit down and just talk and get thoughts out and just like be myself and not have to worry about too much going on. It's nice.